Yo, yo, what is up my great people? Karma here uh, once again, and welcome back to the good old channel. Today we are gonna be talking about the Wrecked on Infinite Warfare, and is this similar to the Assault Rifle Mode on the RPR Evo? This was requested by Mr. Cody De Pepe. I hope I said that right, and he was curious about this, as am I. In case you didn't know, the Wrecked is an R3K variant and costs 4,000 salvage, provided you have the Legendary variant. But if you don't have the Legendary variant of the R3K, you need to spend 6,000 salvage, which is what I did. And you guys don't want to go there if you don't want to use it. Because I was super excited when I got it, but I got a let down when I saw the fire rate was a little bit too slow for my satisfaction. However, the three shot kill post range and four shot kill long range is what enticed me to be satisfied with owning it. But I really don't want to spend that much salvage to get it though. So if this is you right now, counting down the days and building up your salvage to get the wrecked, you may or may not have the wrecked in your inventory already, but there is a rumor that the Assault Rifle mode on the RPR Evo is basically the same as the wrecked variant. So we're going to be testing a few things out to see if that is actually the case. Now, if you're wondering how we're going to be figuring this out today on the RPR and in Assault Rifle mode, is it the same as the R3K variant the wrecked? We're going to be looking at a couple things including fire rate, aka RPM, bullet damage, and bullet damage at same ranges, ADS speed, and ADS movement speed. That being said, this could be a huge deal for you if the RPR in Assault Rifle mode is the same as Wrecked because it's going to save you that much time and energy trying to get the Wrecked. But let's just check her out right now. Alright, so as I said, it took a lot of time to acquire the Wrecked because seeing that it is a fully automatic, it made me think of it using as a rapid fire controller without actually needing the controller. Or at least having a rapid fire attachment or perk that doesn't actually exist in Infinite Warfare. So I felt it would give me advantage over other players since this was a unique thing to have. First, we're going to be looking at the shots to kill. Close range direct kills with three bullets, which is one of the good features about it. At long range, direct does kill with four bullets. So the wreck does have that long range advantage over the other assault rifles, except the flat line on the NV4, which is four shots to kill at any range as well. Now we can take a look at the run in the mill default RPR Evo. Close range, three shots to kill, so it is the exact same shots to kill as close range as the wrecked. The RPR Evo in assault rifle mode at long range, four shots to kill as well. So this is amazing to me because I never took any sort of notice that it was a max three shots to kill at close range and four shots to kill at long range. That is unbelievable. So far so good with the similarity of the RPR in assault rifle mode and wrecked for the R3K. The next test is for the rifle barrel, and that's to see if the rifle barrel will be better on either of these weapons. So I step back to long range with the wrecked, and the shots to kill are still going to be 4 shots. And the RPR Evo in Assault Rifle Mode is going to take 4 shots still as well. So it looks like the rifle barrel, or called particle amp on the wrecked, is not needed in either of these weapons around this area. So then I take off the rifle barrel and put a suppressor on the RPR Evo on Assault Rifle Mode. And it still does not make a difference as it still takes four shots to kill. So very, very nice to be able to use the RPR Evo in assault rifle mode with a suppressor attachment and not have a significant range damage penalty. Okay, so we figured out that the damage is practically the same on both these weapons. So then I thought, well, one is an assault rifle and one is an SMG. So what about stock? So I already did a stock test in the last video with the R3K, including the Wrecked, and it moves at 100% of 10 seconds from this box to this other box on the map frontier. With the stock, it is now cut down 40%, taking 6 seconds with the stock. The RPR in Assault Rifle mode at 100% takes 6 seconds from point A to point B on those boxes. Now here's where it gets dicey because with the stock on the RPR in Assault Rifle mode, it still takes 6 seconds. So the stock in the RPR in Assault Rifle mode is absolutely worthless. Do not put stock on if you plan on using the Assault Rifle mode on the RPR 100% of the time. However, there is a bright side to this, since we're comparing the Wrecked to the RPR in Assault Rifle mode, we know that the stock is essential to the Wrecked, or on any Assault Rifle in my opinion. And with the RPR, it's not going to be needed, because it's not going to do too much. <laughs> Meaning you won't be needing to waste the slot, and you can put something else more useful on. Next, we're looking at the recoil on both these weapons. Firing from medium to long range, this is what the recoil pattern is going to look like on the Wrecked. You can see it almost goes straight upward as you continue to fire. Now with the RPR Evo in Assault Rifle mode, the recoil pattern is going to be next to flawless if you're aiming for center mass, or aka the middle of the body. So that would mean, having the same damage as a wrecked, you can beat a wrecked if you're head on at farther ranges. And then we look at the ADS speed. Now when I looked at the wrecked aim down sight speed with the quick draw, I registered it at 136 milliseconds which is incredibly fast for an Assault Rifle. 
And then we look at the RPR Evos ADS speed in a sorrowful mode. And it takes 167 milliseconds, being that the Rekt is going to pull up 31 milliseconds faster than the RPR in a sorrowful mode. Does that make much of a difference? I would say it doesn't because it takes a thousand milliseconds to make one second, guys. Think about this. That's going to be nowhere near noticeable. The only way it would matter is if you and your enemy pull up the exact same time, same range, until the millisecond. And that will practically never happen. And the very last thing I will go over, and I'm sure you should be the most curious on, is the RPM or fire rate in layman's terms. As always, if you guys know what RPM means, it means rounds per minute. And that is the rate of how many bullets can fire in a single minute on that gun. That being said, the Rekt has an RPM of 466, meaning it can fire that many bullets per minute without reloading. And then we measure the RPR's RPM when it is in a sorrowful mode, and it fires at 441. So the difference between the Rex RPM and the RPRs is 25. And with that 25 RPM based off these two numbers, that is also not going to be something that's going to be noticeable. You get about an eighth of a bullet faster with the Rex than you do with the RPR in a sorrowful mode. You're not going to notice that. After all the things I mentioned between the Rex and the RPR Evo in a sorrowful mode, we can finally ask the question, is the RPR Evo in a sorrowful mode practically the same as the Rex? Yes, it is. The Rekt and the RPR Evo in a sorrowful mode both have some things that are better than the other, but they are so little better that they don't even make it different. However, if you're looking to buy the Rex still in the prototype shop, use the RPR Evo and only in a sorrowful mode for many matches. That's going to be basically the Rex. So you will know the feel before you buy the Rex and spend all your salvage. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for me and I really hope I can provide you guys with some sort of insight on an alternative Rex or Wrecked versus the RPR Evo, whichever you guys prefer. If you guys are having trouble getting it, or just generally curious if the Wrecked can compare to the RPR in a sorrowful mode. Any questions, you guys know what to do, and if you like, give that like button a fist bump, and sub a dub, aka subscribe to see more. Until next time, I say goodbye, and good luck.